Hey superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel, Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and supporting our channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue and I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. So would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, let me show you. It is the BoxyCharm Premium. And if you want to know what's inside this box, then just keep on watching. Doing reviews just like I do. Hanging out with your friend Sue. It's Sue. And I'm back. And I have the BoxyCharm Premium right here in my hot little hands. This is a monthly beauty subscription box. It runs you $35. It's going to come with six to seven full-size items inside. The value I want to say on this box is supposed to be worth a rate around $175. So this particular box is called the premium box. It does come in three different sizes. There's a base box. You have to get that box first before you move forward. Once you get that box, then you can jump up to the premium box, which is 35. And then they have their luxe box that comes out every three months. But when you get that box, then you have to forego your base box. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, Go ahead and contact me through um, Instagram or you can contact me through my email and I'll try to explain it to you a little bit better. Or I am going to leave a link down below for BoxyCharm so you can go check out the website for yourself and I'm sure it'll give you a much better explanation than I just did. I just loved to show all the different boxes that I have. I have been trying to do a few reviews here and there, but mostly I do a lot of unboxing. So if that's what you're into, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get into the premium box for April, 2021. And yes, it's end of the month. I don't even know when I'm going to get this video up, but it just came on like the 25th or the 26th, I want to say. So it took a long time to get to me. Still having issues with um, things being delivered. So here is our premium box. Let me go ahead and get it open because I have not cut the tape yet. Sometimes I like to pre-cut it, but I didn't this time. And guys, I don't know what the deal is, but I think I got like seven boxes within like the last day or two. And I just filmed the other night my Michael's grab bag hauls. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. I bought three bags, which was $15. And I think it was like 141 items I received. They were stacking the boxes, huge, like tall. And I did an average of the $15, you know, divide into how many items I had. And each item approximately costed me 11 cents. So check out that video. It's really fun. I love doing those. So back to our beauty box in hand, right? So when you open up the box, it looks like this. It just says BoxyCharm Premium right there. And then you can see there is a couple things inside. So, well, hopefully there's going to be six or seven items. You know, they say and advertise six or seven, but I never see that. Now, too, if you do decide to sign up for BoxyCharm, like I said, the link will be down below. Usually, they have like a free offer or they give you some a couple extra dollars to spend. So, make sure you always look for a promotion when you click on the link because if you don't put the promo code in and it changes all the time, then you lose out on that. So, okay, so we do have a little card and it looks actually like a lot smaller than normal. So this is called Sweet Treats, just like the base box was. And it looks like there is a bunch of Easter candy there and I want to eat it now. That looks like a one of those candy necklaces. And uh, I love those as a kid. They were so messy, but I love them. Uh, yeah, so Sweet Treats. Uh, we have my number on the back here is... C21042992 PM and the PM stands for premium and a little heart. So on the back of the card, it does give you um, what each item is that's going to be in my box right here. And it tells you the retail value of it and a brief description. I usually just kind of skip over it and just give you a little bit of information. I mostly like to show you the stuff I got. So they did reach out to me. This was another thing that happened. They did email me BoxyCharm to let me know that one of the items that are in my box here is going to be a, a duplicate of something I've received in the past. So they said they gave, oh, what they did is they gave me an extra $12 that I could purchase in the pop-up sale. So I did purchase, I think I purchased some more eye masks to go under my eyes because guys, I need them. They are just getting puffier and puffier. I don't know if it's because of my weight gain, but I just cannot get rid of them. No, I cannot. Okay, so... Let's move on to our first item. So our first item comes like this. It's in a little bag and it is by Eloise. It is a mini teardrop brush. And here is the packaging and you are getting a major glare there. And what is this? This is a mini teardrop, it's a mini teardrop brush, just like they said. 
It is great for applying foundation, concealer, bronzer, finishing powder, body paint, self-tanning, special effect finishes. And this box is actually, the presentation is super cute. And oh la la, I... I don't remember people getting this this month. It seems like this was something that was out a couple of months ago. But this is the little brush right here. It's very, you know, fancy looking. This is the bottom. It has not been used. And it kind of like looks like it's been used. Huh. No, I guess that's just the color of it. It's it's very soft. I mean, I don't know if I would feel comfortable. Like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. You know, I really should try it. I need to venture out of my same things that I always do. But it is, you know, it's super soft. If you can see this, it's kind of like velvety feeling almost. And it kind of reminds me of like a stamp, like, you know, like rejected or A, B, C, something, you know, like a stamp for stamping. Because I used to do a lot of stamping when I used to do a lot of scrapbooking. But okay, so there's that item there. And this value on that item is $45. So this paid for the box. Now, do I think it's worth $45? No, a lot of these retail prices are kind of inflated. But what's really nice is you get, you know, a great value and you're not spending that much money and you get to try things. So now it looks like if I flip over my little, I'm just going to pull this thing out. It comes with one of these little foamy things. Sometimes they put bubble wrap, sometimes they put paper, and sometimes they have these sponges. This thing here is actually really good if you're washing your brushes. You can kind of like dry them off on here or lay them on here to dry or save them for packaging gifts. Okay, next item, let's see. Let me just go in order of my card. The next thing we have here is by Wonder Beauty. Do not disturb, overnight repair, concentrate. And this is what it looks like here. And you are getting some glare, so I am sorry. This has a value of $68. Wow, it says formulated with 1% ret retinoid to amp up the skin's natural renewal cycle and help diminish the appearance of fine lines. Yes, I could use that. Wrinkles, uh, yes, please. Uneven skin tone, uh-huh, that's me too. And texture, uh, let's see. Smooth um, skin to the environmental stresses faced during the day. So yeah, so what's this look like? Oh, it looks like it is sealed. So let me cut this open and just kind of see what it looks like. I think, if I remember correctly, I think I chose this item. Now with the Boxy Charm Premium, you are actually able to choose two items. Oh, the dispenser is really cool looking. Overnight Repair Concentrate, 1% retinoid. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it looks like you just kind of like pump it right there, I'm assuming, so yeah, that looks pretty cool. So we'll keep it like that. But I do love things that have pumps. That, that's like my ultimate favorite because I hate when you got to like screw the lid off, squeeze it into your hand, and then you got the cap and then you set it down and, you know, you don't know what's coming next. So moving on, NARS. We got something from NARS. And yes, I did choose this item as well. So these were the two items that I chose. So this is the NARS blush. It is retail value at $30. And I picked the color in Angelica, Angelica, actually, it's my best friend's name, so that's pretty neat. So let me see. It is so hard when you are picking these colors out online because you can't see them really close. Oh, it feels nice. So there we go, squirrel. All of a sudden, I pulled this out, and it's like really soft. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, I don't even know what you call it, like a silicone feel, but there it is right there. It is very thin. When you open it up, let's see the color. I hope it's right. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> it does have a cute little mirror there. And let me just pop this off for a second. So this is the color right there. Hmm. Gosh, I wish it was a little bit deeper. But, oh, what the heck. I got to try this. Okay, so this is what it looks like on my finger. It looks very pink. And let's just do a little swatch right there. So this is what it looks like right here. Let me try to build it up a little bit. It's very sparkly. So this is what it looks like. Do you think that is going to work for my skin? Let me know in the comments. Wait, where's it at? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But it's like right here. So, hmm. It might work. It might work. So, but it is super pretty. So I'm going to keep that out of the box because I swatched it. When I swatch it, that means it doesn't go back in the box. All right. So those were my two choice items. And then our third, nope, our fourth item 
is going to be something by a dose of colors and this is an eyeliner and it is valued at $15. What color did I get? So this is in the color Maybe Baby. <laughs> we got us a Maybe Baby. So let's, let's see what this looks like. Now I do like getting colored eyeliners and oh, it looks, wow, this is weird looking. It looks like a pen. Look at, look at the, the other end right down here. Isn't that weird? So this is what it looks like. And does it screw open or does it pop off? I don't know what this thing does. I don't know how to get into it. Oh, okay, there we go. So it pops off like that. And I'm happy to get like a new color. So let's see, does it screw up? I'm, I'm screwing it, but it doesn't seem to be like Am I supposed to push it? I mean, I would think I would just turn it, is it or the bottom. Oh, oh, what is this end for? Okay, wait, I gotta try something here. Is this end, oh! Okay, this doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, I just like, did I just break it now? I thought this end would like do something because it looks like it turns. But no, you just turn it here at the end right there, as you can see, and there is our color. Let's go ahead and swatch it because yeah, what the heck? Let's live on the edge. I'm just going to do it right over this. Okay, so there is our color there. So it's kind of like a greenish color. I was kind of hoping it was going to be more on the teal or the blue side. But that'll give me something a little something a little different to bedazzle my eyes with, I'd say. So we are going to keep that item, or at least I'm going to be keeping this item here. I'm glad it's not broken. Okay, then moving on, we have something by Marc Jacobs right there. And this, again, is a good, these are like really good brands this month. This is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer, valued at $39. And I love trying new primers because I still have not found the perfect primer. I have to say my favorite is still the um, Pour No More or by um, Benefit is it, I think. But that is still like my favorite. It makes my face feel really like a smooth canvas, a smooth surface, I guess, before I put on my foundation. So, ooh, that's a nice looking tube. <laughs> nice and fancy, nice and white. So, you know, when I have my uh, my foundation in my hand, look at all gross on here. Yeah. So let's see, does it just turn? Oh man, I was kind of hoping it was going to be one of those little pumps, but this is what it looks like. It actually looks like the top of the bottle to my, like my contact juice that I put in my eyes, but let me put a little bit on here. Ooh, okay, it looks kind of like silicone-y looking. So it is thick there. I'm going to put some right on my hand. And I want to see if it smells like coconut because I love coconut smell. I'm a little stuffy, but I think I can smell a little bit. It smells pretty good. So let's let that dry down. And I'm pretty sure I did tell you that that was a valued at $39. And the last item is going to be the item that I have received before. And this is the 111 Skin Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask 5 Pack. And I am not mad because these are some really good face masks. My, my friend Jessica over at Everything Proof Beauty. These are her ultimate favorite. When they go on sale in the FabFitFun sale, she says that she always buys like two or three packages of these. And these retail like for a ridiculous amount, which I would never pay in a million years. They are valued at $135 for a pack of five of these. That is just crazy. So I am not mad that I got them. So I know a lot of other people, I think they got a Ionic London palette, I believe. And I already have a couple of those. And you guys know I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow. So I am very happy and pleased that I got this. Plus, I got a $12 credit. And I got me some, some under eye masks to go with it. So... What did we get this month? We got the 111 masks. We have the, see, I don't have the lid on this yet. We have the Marc Jacobs primer. We have an eyeliner in a different color for a change. Yay. We have the NARS, 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 the NARS blush in that really bright pink. And I just, oh gosh, I don't know. I hope it works for me. We have the Wonder Beauty item right there, the overnight what were you? An overnight repair concentrate. And then we have the Eloise brush right here. What am I most excited for? I want to say the masks. 
I'm excited to try that blush out, but I just, I hope it's not too pink. And then I love this Marc Jacobs. I'm hoping, oh, let's feel it. Ooh, oh, it does feel good. It dried down. It feels, it feels good. I don't know if you can see any difference. Oh, I think you can. Look at the dryness between the one hand. Like this is the smooth hand. This is the like old wrinkly hand with, with the swatches on it. So that is everything I received in my box for April 2021. Do you love it? Do you like it? Do you wish you had it? Do you want mine? You know you can't have mine, but what I can do for you is leave the link down below for BoxyCharm, as I always do. Let me know what your favorite item is I received in my box this month. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I wish you would consider doing that at this time. A thumbs up would help me a lot. And if you could hop on over to Instagram when you're done watching this video, I'd really appreciate it. I am trying to build my followers over there. It is reviews with Sue, just like my channel name. And if I have any giveaways going on, I will leave a link down below in the description box for that as well. So please be safe, be well. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.